everybody. How are you? Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. <laughs> Me and Perry, we don't work on Sundays, so we are swallowed. We feel swallowed up, but <laughs> we, we really don't. We feel swallowed. I, I feel swallowed. Yeah, I really do. And betrayed. Football Sunday. I know. So let's get this over with. So we wanted to come on and uh, talk about a couple of things that's going on in Hot Topics that couldn't wait till Monday, people. You see why I feel swallowed? <laughs> <laughs> I really feel swallowed up. All right. So what are the things that we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about sweet tea from the Real House. No, from Mary to Medicine, uh, possible fraud. Okay. Oh my God. Swallowed. Okay. She probably <laughs> feels swallowed. <laughs> oh, she's been swallowing. Let's, let's keep moving. No. Okay. okay. I'm, bad. I'm sorry. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, Kwame Kilpatrick. Now, you guys probably don't know about who this is. This is the used to be a mayor of um, Detroit. And back in 05, he was mayor and uh, he's being accused of unaliving someone and then teaming up with Donald Trump swallowed okay this this is a mess and then we're going to talk about the whole chris stokes story the ex-wife coming out yesterday and how she's possibly in hiding today that's a really crazy story okay it really really is um so ain't nothing to it but to do it where did i get that from <laughs> i don't know but it's so 70s it's you are <laughs> swallowed you are messy okay all right, so let's get started with the sweet tea story. Oh my gosh, this we had to get this out right away because sweet. So for you guys that don't watch Married to Medicine, I will make this very very quick. So sweet tea uh, has been saying that Doctor Heavenly has been bullying her, and she's been going around to different YouTube channels, begging and crying and pleading. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, to, um, I guess, st state her case and that Dr. Heavenly tried to make her do all these things like be mean to quad and so on and so on and so on. And I was out. I said, I'm not going to really talk about it. Ciao. <laughs> I said I really wasn't going to talk about it, but uh, I've got to talk about it now because I got a phone call. Okay. And um, someone says, Sherelle, sweet tea is not who you think she is. Um, now, remember, I found out, was it last week or a couple weeks ago, that she has teamed up with two dirty bloggers and uh, Mariah Hawk to spill bad things about the cast. It, Mariah's got her own hangups. I don't know what's going on, but she supposedly is going to give, Mariah is allegedly going to give Sweet Tea some receipts that prove that Dr. Damon was cheating on Dr. Heavenly. And I mm -hmm. should have known right then, like, mm, that's like a, um, that's not a, a, a person that's fearful that would do something like that. That's like, oh, that's like taking Dr. Right. Heavenly on. Okay, right. so this is what I got a phone call. I, I heard someone say, Sherelle, uh, Sweet T, whose real name is Letitia, really it was in three sugar daddy groups. Dang. Okay, these are groups where you go after older men. Okay, and uh, and these the so-called aged Difference groups are nothing but sugar daddy groups, okay, where they intentionally go after older men. They said that when she was in these groups, she was un under several aliases. Uh, they said that she used to uh, post about it on her Instagram. Now, she allegedly had an Instagram account called sweet underscore T underscore shh. That she <laughs> S oh my God. H H A shh that allegedly she closed down at some point. This uh, Instagram account really would have gave it away that this is not an age difference group. It is a sugar daddy group. Right. Um, also, they're saying that uh, she has an Instagram that goes by TN, that she had pictures on there, but she took them all down and only one picture's left up. So what they're describing is that she's getting away of uh, erasing evidence they also said that you were dead wrong when i said uh sweet tea needs to open up a 
YouTube channel instead of talking about it on Instagram. They're saying that she had a YouTube channel under her maiden name, Letitia Mayo, where she gave advice for people that were interested in finding sugar daddy. Yeah, so she was on a mission. So this, this is what these people are saying. And they're saying that uh, the reason she's upset with Dr. Heavenly has nothing to do with uh, her being not able to conceive. They said that Dr. Heavenly was asking questions that Sweet Tea did not want to answer, um, like the Sugar Daddy group. Um, also, I'm going to play this really quickly. We want to know if she knows this woman right here. Hold on. Um, oops, wrong button. Now, this is, sounds like some mess. Love, um, marriage medicine got some mess going on, don't they? Okay, here we go. Do you know this woman in the beginning that's talking about the sugar daddies? Also, did you also say that you wanted to open your own age, age gap group? Take a listen. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Uh... Let me try it again. I mean, um, I feel like this. I feel like both of them, Dr. Heavenly and uh, Sweet Tea, have gone below the belt. But I feel like Sweet Tea needs to answer some questions uh, if, just to make sure that this is true. And it's not because no one's being mean to her. When you're the new girl, you always have to answer questions. Let's try this one. And they both have apologized to each other too, right? Yeah. The, oh, since uh, my last oh, video, uh, yeah. I guess Sweet Tea came out uh, and apologized about talking about uh, Dr. Heavenly's mother. And Dr. Heavenly has apologized for talking about her ability to not conceive. Yeah. A sugar baby coach and lifestyle influencer empire. My lifestyle now is very flashy, very lit. I will not step out the house unless I'm 100% on point. I spend up to $5,000 a month. What do you like most about being engaged? I get a little access to the money. What is the <laughs> say what? What did she say? My gold digger meter is dinging. I'm actually gonna start my own group. What do you guys think about that? Okay. You have. Uh, let me read this really quick. Sherelle and Perry, please don't make me crash my car on my way back from the grocery store. I'm just saying what was, uh, repeated, what was repeated to me. I really don't have any feelings on it. Perry, what are your thoughts? Look, and I like to say this. I, I think this, like, you know, she came on the show for the money, in my opinion. Okay. But, but I, I feel like she's actually using... Uh, Dr. Heavenly, you know how when you come in and you got somebody that got a big mouth and Dr. Heavenly would set it off on people. So uh -huh. people would take, anytime you throw something on her, they'll discredit whatever she's saying. Mm -hmm. I think she's using Dr. Heavenly to hide from the lies. Mm, interesting. Previous, previous to the show, right? Right, right. And, you know, it's some other things I want to say, and, and this is not coming from you, Sherelle. You know, I'm just saying just this whole... Married the medicine thing this year, mm -hmm. sweet tea and Doctor Heavenly. She's mad because somebody's asking questions. People say, "Well, Doctor Heavenly brought her on the show." Yeah, you can bring somebody on the show, but do you really know them? So when you bring them on the show, you can't ask them a damn question. And so, go ahead. Go ahead. So they're saying that that Doctor Heavenly was asking too many questions, and that's why she's upset with Doctor Heavenly. And the two kind of. When I think about it, we know she's working with Mariah to uh, ambush Dr. Heavenly. That's really not an innocent person. And then I guess she said she was from a small town, but really she was raised in Colleen. And they're saying that she's trying to play innocent, but she's really not. Now, I want to know, did you have a YouTube channel under your maiden name, Letitia Mayo, where you help women get sugar daddies? That's a question that needs to be asked. That's what I think. Was you a madam? Were, were you a pimp? No, <laughs> just saying. You know, when you're hooking people up on a YouTube channel, you know, I can say a madam or a pimp, whatever. But I'm thinking this about her, Sherelle. Like, 
I think her story go way deeper than everybody want to just on the surface look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Heavenly treating her bad. Yeah, Heavenly ain't treating her no different than she don't treat the rest of them girls on the show. Oh, right, right, right. Heavenly gonna throw her shade and whatever. But I think she's using it. And now I feel like, and this is what I think, that she's trying to use her disability. Her disability? Well. Endometriosis? Yeah, I'm saying, I mean, that's a form of disability, right? Okay, okay. Well, okay. Nobody to get me wrong. Uh Uh-huh. This whole thing. Mm Mm-hmm. It's sad when any woman can't reproduce, and, and you know, especially if, if they truly wanted to. Mm-hmm. It's just like if you was on a juror, like like uh, a case or something, you're a juror. Mm-hmm. You form your opinions off the evidence. And as far as where I'm sitting, my evidence looking at Sweet T as Sweet T has been a gold digger. <gasps> just saying. I mean, okay, from the side. Okay. Because, you know, ain't no... 18 year old looking for no 60 year old yeah. unless it's some benefits. Uh-huh. And it normally is cash. Okay. And I think this, you know, she act like she don't know much about the show. Mm-hmm. She knew enough about the show to know Dr. G wanted a baby. Okay, okay. So we're so so people are saying that uh sweet T, whose real name is Leticia, knew that she wasn't able to conceive. But she kind of tried to set up Dr. G. And something about she sent a first, when she sent an email, there was a little baby emoji or something mm-hmm. like that. So you're saying she needs to answer these questions because everybody that's new has to answer questions. Right, right. I'm just saying this. I mean, some of the things she's doing like that mm-hmm. come across suspicious to me. Just my opinion. Mm-hmm. Because the first thing you want to come on quiet about I can give you what quad can't, but you sort of knew you had this disability, not saying you couldn't, but it's going to make it harder for you to give it. But you use that for the prize to get the, you know, the, the key to the front door. This is getting messy. This is getting very messy. If this is true, if you're trying to escape questions, you have to answer questions, Sweet Tea, because everybody does when they first come on the show. And you did say out of your own mouth, your favorite thing about Dr. G was you had access to the money. And mm-hmm. I'm really shocked. I need to know, did you have a YouTube channel where you gave advice on being a sugar daddy or getting a sugar daddy? Uh, that's that's a that's a logical question. And what happened to your sweet, sweet underscore T underscore shh account? What, what happened to it? Why did you close it down? These are just questions. No one's um trying to be mean to you, but when you're on the show, the first thing people ask is questions. We want to know who you are. So are you using Dr. Heavenly as a scapegoat to not answer these questions? That's exactly what I think she's doing. It's like, if I thought, oh, like, people wouldn't ask her questions. Oh, Dr. Heavenly, she's bullying me. She's doing this. And I can't even breathe without her taking my oxygen away. Mm -hmm. You know, that people, other people will back off and not ask her the questions. Why are you there on the show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was saying. With Dr. G. What was your motivation? Go ahead. If she really is that sensitive, she doesn't need to be on the show. Because they said she was very upset by Dr. Heavenly saying she wasn't able to conceive. If you don't answer these questions, you don't need to be on the show because now you're just trying to get over on everybody. So uh, I think Sweet Tea needs to be in the hot seat at the reunion. So in in admit, to, you know, I doubt her innocence. I don't know. I go back and forth because you are trying to uh, ambush Dr. Heavenly. And we didn't know about these secret YouTube channels. I thought you knew nothing about YouTube and you were just on Instagram because you were green. I didn't know you were on there because you've been on there before. Right. And see, so we need to, it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of facade she throw out there. And I don't really look at her as being that, it, that sensitive. Mm-hmm. You know, she took a couple of acting courses while she had the YouTube channels, the age gap seeking men yeah. programs. Mm-hmm. You know, I think she just, you know, like start to tear up when she feel like she might be exposed. Oof. That's just my personal it's opinion. It's, not yeah. sure. it's just mine. I'm just watching the show like y'all are. And a lot of people like her. I, I don't really got a problem with her. 
and wouldn't have a problem with her. Just why? Just say what you want to say or don't say nothing at all. Well, no, she has to say something. Uh, just, you can't be on the show and have a hidden YouTube channel. We want to know about it. So uh, that's a mess. So let's see what happens now because uh, they're finding a lot of, you know, you start deleting stuff. Why are you deleting all these things? What happened? <laughs> like, why are you deleting? What's going on? I feel lost, dazed, and confused because I did feel really uh, bad. And I did say I felt compassion about her not being able to conceive. But if you're using it to set somebody up, we can't have that either. And, you know, right. Dr. G's vulnerable. He just wants somebody. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then I kind of felt in the beginning it was a little odd that you're in an age gap group. Now, according to this, you've been in one before you even met him, and they were straight. You were in three of them. So let's just find out and see what's going on, and maybe she'll answer these questions. But um, she won't. Oh, somebody says swallowed up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to, sweet tea. Do you feel swallowed? <laughs> just joking. I'm just joking. I've been saying that all day. For the last three days, swallowed. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, that's what's going on. I feel like uh, the reunion, it all needs to come out. So I, I guess they got stuff coming out on Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly and Carlos, y'all need to ask Sweet Tea, what about the, this YouTube channel where you gave people advice under the name of the YouTube channels of Leticia Mayo? Mm -hmm. uh, why are you giving people advice on being a sugar, getting a sugar daddy? That yeah. what you know now that changes things, but I'm not that invested. We'll see. You think it's going to come out eventually, Perry? Yeah, well, it's coming out now. I mean, we're we sitting here talking about it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's nothing you really, I mean, you can scrub the internet here or there, but it's traces that this is where you've been, not just this season before mm. Dr. G. Mm. It's showing some of your daily routines. This Sweet is, tea, you know, girl. That's that's not cool. If uh, if you did use Dr. G like that, that's 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 not cool at all. And and Dr. Simone, I know you're cool with uh, Dr. G. You don't want him to be used. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. If she did, I didn't even know Dr. Heavenly was asking these questions because I I'm kind of busy and I don't have time to sit down and watch her and Carlos. And Carlos, I was gonna say something to Carlos. Um, I forgot. Hopefully I'll remember. So that's what's going on with the uh, Mary to Medicine situation. Looks like somebody got a, some explaining to do. That's crazy. Um, I don't even know, understand the reason for the age gap group. If it is, they're saying it's a sugar daddy account. Why do you need help? I don't know. Is this something I don't do? Oh, <laughs> I don't was know. You this Carlos got a new show coming out next month. No, it wasn't about that. Oh, it was really? something okay. else. All right, let's move on because I'm trying to get out of here kind of quickly, people. All right, so you guys probably don't know anything about this case right here, so I'm I'm bringing it to your attention. Um, you guys know I was born in Detroit, got family in Detroit, and when this all was going down, uh, I guess my family was talking about it just like everybody else. Like, I think I called my my cousin one day. I was like, what's going on with y'all mayor? <laughs> like, what is, why is he in the news? Okay, so if you're not familiar with Kwame Kilpatrick, that picture is not good enough. And I just got to have my pictures. He was a former mayor of uh, Detroit. Let's see if I can put this up really quick. This is a small picture. Now, he ended up um, getting, he went to jail for uh, fraud and, and taking ci uh, city money and paying for it, paying for things in his personal life. And I think they said in the tune of $210,000. Mm. But one day he had this party at his home, okay? And he had strippers at the party. Now, the rumor is that his wife, what was her name? His wife came home, seen the strippers, Carlita, came home, seen the strippers, and got into it with one of the strippers whose stripper name was Strawberry. Her real name is um, Tam Tamara Green is her name. And they got into it. They don't 
No one knows exactly what happened. All they know is a couple days, possibly weeks later, the stripper, whose name is uh, Tamara, came up unalived. Okay. Wow. So her daughter has been trying to find out who did this, what's going on. Uh, they said that he ended up going to prison for uh, fraud and mishandling of monies when he was mayor. They said that Donald Trump pardoned him. Okay, so Donald Trump got him out. They said that he is now teamed up with Donald Trump, him and his mother, who used to be on the city council, Michigan City Council woman, uh, to get more black people to vote for Donald Trump. Hmm. But they're both dirtier than a little bit. So let's listen to what the, the daughter of the woman that got unalived had to say. This is it. This is a this is a mess. was a very popular stripper in the early 2000s and as you can imagine that industry you meet a lot of powerful rich famous people my mom ended up having an affair with the mayor of the city who was married at the time so yeah things got messy and um the mayor of detroit's wife actually assaulted my mother Instead of paying my mother hush money, the mayor decided to pay off cops in the city to <laughs> my mother. There's a lot of key points to my mother's story, but to make things a little shorter, she was <laughs> in a drive-by with police-issued guns. I worked in the industry myself, so I've met people who knew my mother, seen her around the mayor, and they do not want any parts of my mother's case. So to this day, it's an unsolved <laughs> There has been many podcasts, news channels reporting on my mother's story, a book written, a play produced. But after so many years of trying to fight for justice, I have been a standing lone wolf and I've grown very tired. So the former mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick, actually ended up going to prison for various other things after reports of my mother's death. Some people think he's great. Some people think he's a terrible, terrible man. But thanks to Donald Trump being his longtime friend in that industry, he pardoned him a few years ago. So now the man responsible for my mother. He's just living his happily ever after life. So they're saying that he's helping Donald Trump get black people to vote for Donald Trump with the intentions of going back into politics. Mm -hmm. When you have a reputation of unaliving Tamara Green. Right. And they're saying that Donald Trump pardoned all these rappers, started trying to get into the black community because he knew he, he can't win without them. When he has a history of doing bad things to black people, I didn't lost the damn thing. <laughs> well, you know, him and his father were, were sued for uh, not letting black people, uh, renting to black people. Mm -hmm. And this is just a muddy, mess this is a mess and my heart goes out to ashley because you know how you want to know what happened to your mom she has like a hole in her heart mm -hmm. she, she has her own youtube channel this video got nine million views and everybody's saying that donald trump and kilpatrick are corrupt this yeah. is a mess <laughs> up to his finest you know let me pardon you so you will owe me that's messy. Yeah. That's messy. And some people say, well, you know, why would he sell out? You know, people sell out for their own interests. You know, and he's only looking out for himself, not the community. He's looking out for what he can get and get back in politics so he can move up and make more money and take more money. Politics is a dirty game. OK, mm -hmm. they, they don't give a damn. They really don't. This is a horrible situation. My heart goes out to you. 
uh, Ashley, I'm sorry, you know, what happened to your mom? And then there was other rumors. So I guess some of the other women were saying that uh, the reason that the fight went down is because uh, the, uh, I don't want to call her stripper, Tamara was pregnant. Oh. It's a mess. It's a mess. Now, we don't know about it here on the outside of Michigan, but uh, it was, it dominated the media for a long time. Like all this stuff happened, you know, dirty politicians, you know, you could just come back and, you know, be a congressman or a senator and you've been to jail for, you know, stealing money from the people. That's what it is. It's crazy. Oh, y'all know who he is. Oh, mm. yeah. So uh, I just decided to do the story because she was really crying on her uh, TikTok. She's crying. And it's like, I, I just want to know what happened to my mom. And, you know, I grew up without my mom. And that that was really um, heartbreaking. Perry, do you think she should let this go? Because she said that that the bullets that were found that unalived her mom were issued to policemen. So they're saying that I, so maybe some of the policemen, Kilpatrick got some of the policemen to unalive her mother. This is messy. I, I, would, never tell, I would never tell her let it go. But I can understand how straining it is to try to produce something. She's been out here lobbying for it for years. When corruption hits and it's an inside job or whatever, mm -hmm. sometimes you can go the rest of your life and it never get any justice. So, but, but I wouldn't say stop it. You know, I mean, stop wanting it happen. But she's been trying all these years. And, you know, we're talking about it now. But probably more than likely, probably nothing would ever come of it. Just Maybe mind. she should let it go because you're That's talking it. about you're talking about a, a president. You're talking about police. You're talking about corruption. Right. I don't think it's ever going to get solved. No and offense. She said, and she said herself, she's came tired. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at some time, you know, my blessings go out to her. You know, because I'm yeah. sure she never know and want justice. But that's a mess. I don't think she would ever see it. That's sad. Bad situation, sad, 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 sad. Okay, now let's get to my main story here. So yesterday, uh, Chris Stokes, do you guys remember who he is? He was the manager of B2K. Um, this was probably in the early 2000s. B2K is a, is a, a singing group with Omarion, Little Fizz, who is was on uh, Love and Hip Hop for some years. Uh, it, it came out that uh, he had been touching, that's the word we're going to use, uh, the group members, specifically Raz B. Raz B came out and talked about it. Uh, he also alleged that Marcus Houston was touching and, and doing things like that to these young boys that were underage at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, this gets really, really complicated. So... Um, how do I explain this? Let me first play. So they're saying that they're really fearful of Chris Stokes. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Let me just refresh your memory. The, uh, Raz B said that, you know, it led him to drugs and he just couldn't handle what happened to him. Uh, he was a mess for a couple of years. Now he's on, he's on uh, Zeus Network. I can't remember the name of the show. Actually, let me correct myself. Rasby is officially off the tour. I don't feel safe because I feel like Chris Stokes is around. So guess what? I'm off the tour. Good luck to everybody. No disrespect to Amari uh, because he's my brother. Amari, if you come talk to me and you want me to do this tour, I'll do this tour, but I'm officially off the tour. Okay? Oh, and guess what? I guess we're about to sh uh, shoot the new uh, Surviving Chris Stokes movie right so leo yo ricky Rowe, call lifetime because i'm ready to talk and talk he did he did a number of videos one uh, saying what happened to him he was crying in the video he he also like at times looked a little inebriated you know he just described a you know a very bad situation that he went through okay now listen so there came a time so i'm i'm gonna you guys understand what i'm trying to say here the uh, Epstein's trial comes out, okay, and we know, I'm going to use the word freak-offs. E Epstein had these freak-off rings, 
worldwide, okay? And they catered to anybody, each and every group, right? Um, according to the rumors, Chris Stokes is involved with the African-American boy sector. So I tried to talk about this story early on because I heard that Chris Stokes was involved in the freak off rings. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what we're going to call them. The freak off rings. When I go to tell the story, I get ceased and assist. All six of them. Remember yeah. somebody didn't want me to talk about this story. Also, I find out that Jason Lee gets cease and desist for talking about these stories. Take a listen to this. Jason Lee made this video back in 2021. I think mine's happened in 2022. We were supposed to uh, launch the uh, release the Raz B interview. I sat down with Raz B last week to talk with him about and the fact that for years he's been asking for people to take him serious. He's been asking for justice. He's been asking for people to take the alleged that occurred when he was a kid by his cousin um, and former manager Chris Stokes and also allegedly with Marcus Houston. And so I wanted to, now that we're in the era of the Me Too and the uh, Time's Up movement, that all these women have been uh, uh, getting a platform to share and find justice. I felt like it was time to circle back and have a conversation with Raz, who I haven't talked to since, what, 13 years ago on this topic. So I interviewed Raz, and when the promo for the interview went out, there was an alleged uh, cease and desist letter sent to Fox Soul stopping and blocking the interview from Aaron, which is the craziest thing, because in the five years I've owned Hollywood Unlocked, in the four years that I've had this show, I have never received a cease and desist letter for, for any interview from anybody about stopping or blocking a conversation. They mm. went apeshit. Yep. I tried to talk about the story, cease and desist, six times. There's a bigger element to this. They're saying that he's a part of the freak off rings. Damn. That he actually brought other underage to the, the, the freak offering. There are many more victims of Chris Stokes. And if anybody tries to talk about it or hold him accountable, they shut you down. Then yesterday, let's see if I got this tape. Uh, his wife came out, Chris Stokes' ex-wife, and she basically said, yes, the rumors you've been hearing about Chris are true. Yeah, let me stop at that. They're true. And uh, let so, but now today, it's down. Silence, yeah. They took it down. Silence. So people are coming out saying, well, if this happened, why didn't she say anything about it earlier? Because she might get shut down. Down. And I want you guys to read what I'm saying in between the lines. If they're shutting down bloggers from telling these stories, they don't want it out there. So mm -hmm. because I can't go back and read it, let me put this up here to say what she said yesterday. And why is all of her stuff shut down today? What's happening? I feel that she could be in a sticky situation. Mm hmm Take a listen. This, this I had to go to TikTok. He's going to read to you what she said yesterday in a uh, post. Now Bravo TV being messy to marry to medicine. That's the wrong one. Let me see <laughs> if I can find it. She came on her social media. And this is what she said. Y'all know I cannot read. Ooh, child, it's small. Yeah, no, it, it's just crazy how it, you know these people would do anything to keep from being exposed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that, that she says. I'm married. I married him in 2024, just days before I gave birth to my fourth child. Wow, he has faced accusations of um. SX that I know to be true, but parties are unwilling to come forward and confirm them. I can confirm that he committed these acts and it begins with acknowledgement. What I didn't want to accept. 
I married a, well, I guess bad guy. I'll put it here. Yeah. Uh, of such crimes. Now it's time for me to liberate my spirit and open, be open about it. For the past two and a half years, I've dedicated time to self-improvement, working on my mental, physical, and emotional well-being, often in solitude. At this point, my heart's desire is for every victim, including myself, to heal and live long, he live long, Healthy, productive lives. I seek justice. Let me tell you, you guys, the Chris Stokes story is bigger than what we know. Mm -hmm. And I think they will do anything to shut it down. I feel that she didn't come out earlier because she didn't want to face the consequences. Yeah. I'm telling you, every time I try to talk about this story, cease and desist. Cease and desist. Mm -hmm. When I talk about some of the other people involved, you guys know who I'm talking about. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. I ain't never experienced anything like this. Where you can't say anything. They don't want you to connect Chris Stokes with Epstein. I feel that like there's a lot more people involved. I think there were a lot of young people involved. Mm. This man is sick. And so let's not rush to judgment and tear her up saying you didn't say anything all this time. You don't know what kind of pressure she was under. Right. And then at the same time, I mean, like, I mean, cause I always look at both sides. I say, well, hmm, this could have happened. And then, like, part of me was like, well, why didn't she? And then I thought more into it. And then some of our experiences by having these conversations, mm -hmm. cease and desist come, for people who is personally in contact with them, worse of things have happened to them. Mm -hmm. So I can understand being afraid. So, you it's, know. I, I understand her being very afraid. I mean, listen, it put down in my mind, I stopped the story. Because I was talking about the female portion of the freak, freak offs. Uh -huh. They did not want that story out. Now I find out that they were threatening other bloggers too. It's insane. It's really sad. You know, all of these people with this freak off obsession. Mm -hmm. Maybe Cat Williams was right. Maybe this is the year that truth comes out. Because I remember Rasby, he was devastated. He became a drug addict for a while. He moved to China. You know, that kind of stuff ruins lives. Yeah, for real. Marcus Houston allegedly is now married to some girl that was 17 at the time. These are groomers. They need to pay. Chris, Chris... Stokes has not paid in any kind of way. He's moved on and said and told Rasby one time when they were recording the phone calls, which I cannot find. I cannot find these phone calls. Why are we talking politics in the ch in the chat? Come on, you guys, no politics in the chat. Stop! 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 stop. No! No more! No more. When he's uh, on the phone calls, he was crying. Mm -hmm. And just seeing how his life was ruined. Can you imagine? And this is supposed to be his cousin. I couldn't imagine. I mean, I couldn't imagine that for real. As a man, I couldn't imagine. And, you know, and people say, oh, well, he's out there. A lot of people didn't want to believe him. He's on those med, those street meds. Well, most people probably would be too, to try to recover from the pain. Yeah. And the hurt, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These boys have been scarred for life. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Why are we talking about Trump in the chat? We said what happened with, when all will kill Patrick. We're not trying to get anybody to vote for anybody. So y'all need to stop because I'm not going to. I'm telling you what happened and what went down. Okay. Y'all are a mess. Y'all, would y'all stop? <laughs> Just Everybody yeah. stop or uh, we're going to. Start kicking you out because that's not what this is about. We don't care. 
about that. We're saying that uh, Kilpatrick made a deal with Trump and this criminal, because you've been to jail, this felon, it wants to re-enter our politics. It's a felon. Mm -hmm. But worse than the felon, you're being accused of unaliving somebody. Child, this is a mess. This is a mess. mess. Now back to Chris Stokes. He has to pay, Perry. He has to pay. Right, right. I mean, look, and for some reason, you know, these these rumors have been out there for years. Either people aren't coming forward, pressing charges. And if nobody seemed to do that, he don't have to face the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I can understand a lot of them, you know, as a guy and stuff, you know, just as a female, nobody really want to relive that to go yeah. to court and do stuff. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I got to be passionate about that part just to say, well, shit, I don't know. But he's definitely, in my opinion, allegedly, all these things that he don't done, I believe. Uh, Silver Lining says, there was a recorded call from Rasby. I think we're talking about the same one. Now, I have scrubbed the internet looking for this recording. And the other singer manager by Chris that experienced the same thing as Raz B. But Marcus SA'd him mm, in Chris House. The recording is on Make It Make Sense channel. Oh, we don't talk about other bloggers. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I tried to find this tape. I could not find this tape. Right. There's a lot of t- tapes out there because at one point, B2K was going to make a documentary about it. And of course that got stopped. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I'm going to say this very gently, other members of B2K experienced it, but they don't want to talk about it too out of fear of being judged. Because Mm -hmm. when you're a man, people judge you. I don't know why, but they do. And it'll be a big headache to talk, bring it all back up again. But I think he did a lot of the, all of those boys. To and then also, I think they, you know, it's, it's like a two thing, a two way thing. They don't want to relive it. Mm-hmm. They, they know people are going to look at them different. And also, if you in that industry, they don't want to become blackballed neither. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. It's a hard thing. It, it's crazy. Well, do you think that it's a part of the Epstein freak off ring? Yeah, I mean, all of it is combined. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are other victims. Y'all are going crazy in the chat. I'm sorry for reading these chats. They're live today. Those are completely my thoughts, Sherelle. It's just a sad situation. I remember that. There was also financial things happening that were allegedly paid off. Oh, I remember that back then, not to release the reality TV documentary. Thank you. I'm not crazy. There was supposed to be a reality TV about it. That's why all these tapes were out and and everything was going on. A mess. This Mm -hmm. is a mess. Uh, Yes, there is where I heard a recording with Chris's wife and the recording from young, the young man. Hmm. I remember there was a tape in which Chris admitted it. He claimed he didn't do that kind of stuff anymore and that Raz B had to move on. Do you guys remember that tape? Yeah, I remember something like that. Why don't they talk about other bloggers? I thought everyone gives each other flowers now. Well, no, no, you don't talk about other bloggers on my channel because people be saying some crazy stuff that I don't agree with. And you just it's just a rude thing to do. Who who does that? I don't go in other people's chat. I don't talk about other bloggers. People have said some really disrespectful things. And so I have a rule. Don't talk about other bloggers on my channel. I said one of your other videos that Sweet Tea needed to get with Mariah and get those receipts. Well. She has the receipts. We'll see if she's going to show them. I mean, but just right there is contradictory. Because if you're so hurt about Dr. Heavenly saying these things, but you're working with these, these people to expose her, that means you're not as innocent as you're portraying. 
Now you want to play. So just say, hey, let's go at it. Dr. Heavenly and Sweet Tea, go at each other. May the best man win. But don't pretend like you're so hurt and you don't know what's going on. So you don't have to answer these questions. Don't do that. I agree with everybody. Uh, she needs to be in the hot seat. Just answer the questions. Everybody does it when you first come on the show. Why can't you answer questions? Male victims, no victims should be judged. I get why they don't come forward. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. The other singer was essayed by Marcus. Cha, under the orders of, oh, Chris Stokes. Mm -hmm. Is Quentin Tarver, Quentin Tarver died in a car accident? A year or two ago, I didn't hear about him passing away. No, I mean, that's what they said. Like, I think his uncle came out and said that it was a car accident. Other people saying it was something else. This is messy. Nobody cares about those receipts. If Mariah really had anything, why didn't she put it out years ago? Exactly. That, that was my point. This is messy. Exactly. They may get blackballed and never work again. Oh, yeah, you're right, Cassandra. I mean, Perry, if you were Raz B, would you have come out? It's based off the individual. I mean, if he came out, he didn't come out the next day. I mean, he got to that point where he got tired of holding it in. At that point, he got his courage and said, to hell with it, I'm going. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell my story. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, she can be hurt. Just say you're, you are team big mouth heavenly. What? <laughs> what you know? She, she can be hurt. Talk about sweet tea. Just say you're team big mouth heavenly. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. I'm telling you what's going on. Do you not want the info? L? Cause you don't have to sit here and listen to it. Right. There's no teams. That's what really makes me mad. We are too old for teams. What is that about? Team this, team that. Listen, you can like whoever you want. It's a TV show. I hate it. I hate the cancel culture, and I hate when people divide up into teams. Why mm -hmm. can't we like everybody? Right. Why can't we question everybody? No teams over here. That's childish. Right. I mean, because one thing we have said about Dr. Helen, we said, yeah, she could be very messy. Mm-hmm. Now, team. Uh, oh, I'm not going to play that game. With team L. Sweet Tea. Okay. Overlook that. Dr. Heavenly could be attacked and falsely accused of shit, too. Mm -hmm. And it go on both sides. Sweet Tea can be falsely accused of things. So, all this talk about teams and stuff, just admit this. Don't try to call us out on who we like. Because obviously, when you come on and say that, we know exactly who you like. Oh, okay. Wait. Go ahead. Uh, Elizabeth says, and she was never married to him legally. That's what they're saying. He married her without her knowledge. He did all that shit to her. Ooh. Ooh, child. Hi, V. We're family, but we have to abide by the rules of the house. The chat is acting up today. <laughs> they're talking about people. They're talking about who they voting for. Y'all, uh -huh. that's not what we're doing over here. We're talking about the dirt. We're not talking about who you're voting for. Uh, she has it on TikTok as well. At, she's talking about Ashley. I think you're talking about Ashley. And that's just a sad story. It's just a sad, sad story. I don't like teams. They're trying to do that with Kat and Dave Chappelle. Oh, they're trying to do that now with them. Oh, yeah, I hope it doesn't yeah. fly. Teams yeah. is so juvenile. What is yeah. the purpose of teams? I'm team truth. Yep, I'm team whatever team. the hell I want to be. Be team, team truth. means or... that you're on a side and you refuse to look at the other side. No, team your gotta keep opinion. an open mind. Mm -hmm. Huh? I said, I I just be team your own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether my opinion is right or wrong, that's my opinion. And you got yours, I got mine, and we should both be able to agree to disagree. But go ahead. Uh, he illegally married her, had business in her name, et cetera, and doing very heavy spell work, driving her around like a car, tried to, ooh, to unalive her, clone her. Mm. Man. Yeah, this, this is some... Uh, hi, Robin. Exactly, Sherelle. Being 10 toes down, being on a team does nothing for my life or, or my bills. Entertainment only. Not that serious. It's not that serious. Right. I'm not going to be one of those channels that 
you can't say anything about Sweet Tea or you can't say anything about anybody because this is team so-and-so. This is team truth. Team, I'm too old. I'm 53 years old. So they get the young kids do that a lot. They go, uh, team Cardi B, team Nicki Minaj, teams. We don't do that here. Go find another channel. We don't do that here. I'm team having common sense and my own judgment. Adults are behaving like teenagers these days. Trifling as hell. I mean, the team stuff for me, it's crazy. Dave Chappelle was drunk on stage in his feelings instead of making jokes. Was that recently? Yeah. Perry, really? Yeah. This whole Cat Williams thing. And, 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 basically, just in short, it was something like Dave Chappelle came out and said after people supported him way back. Uh huh. And Hollywood tried to screw him over, uh -huh. and he had to take off. Uh -huh. Came out and said the things Cat Williams are saying now are holding back other comedians' bag. So it's some little talk going back and forth like that, and you know. But Dave Chappelle said the same thing about don't wear a dress and all of this stuff. Right, so right, right. that's the whole conversation. Like, why is your your, your uh, tone changed now? But you know, I, I think they'll work it out. This is a mess. This is a mess. Uh, hey, Sherelle, there are at least 25 bloggers that you started off. They should be paying you. I'll <laughs> oh be right back. Okay. I mean, thank you, Gene. I, I don't know. Uh, it is what it is. Child, it's a mess. But all I want to know is these are some serious topics today. Very, very serious. And we could discuss it without going below the belt. Dave should not have said anything, just my opinion. Mm, mm, mm. If they're going to be bickering, they shouldn't have said anything. Hi, Spoken Soul. How are you? You're on mute. Can you hear me? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Shay and Kat have approximately made $1 million each. Oh, well, I believe that. You're talking about Shannon Sharp. There's rumors going around about Shannon Sharp that I don't know if I want to address. Cat telling the truth, that's a good way to make money. Hashtag truth teller. Um, you've heard the rumors about Shannon Sharp. I think that people are just, it's so much that happened because of those interviews. I think that people are jealous of Shannon Sharp. And how the video went viral. And yeah, they, he made a lot of money off of it. And mm -hmm. I think that they are criticizing and saying that he's having an affair with his makeup artist. That's just, it's just yeah. ugly. And that's just jealousy. That's what I think. I don't, and even if Shannon Sharp was on the download, that's his business. Why didn't you say it before the interview? I think there are jealous people putting out bad rumors about Shannon Sharp, and I think it's sad. Yep. Uh, are you reviewing the Martell interview with Tasha K? I will. I will. Because I'm glad Tasha K. So listen, people hate Tasha K. People hate Jason Lee. They say they're dirty. They're this. They're that. But I want y'all to look at this from a blogger's point of view. I'm only going to go so far. I stop interviewing people because it's a headache. It's a headache. But she's going to get those interviews. Jason's going to get the interviews. I mean, you just got to give them both credit. They don't like each other. They need to squash it and <laughs> realize that they do good things for the industry. Mm -hmm. Hey, Opinion, how you doing? Hi, Sheree. Hi, Bear. How are y'all? Sound off. What you want to sound off? This is a lot. This is deep, too. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, Chris Stokes is a dangerous man. Um, the stuff that he's been doing for so many years and gotten away with it, he's gotten away with it by going around threatening people. And, and that's got him so far. But I'm hoping and I'm praying that because L.A. has stretched out for two years, they will be able to get him. They'll be able to get them some justice, and then people are gonna start opening up cases and getting these people because it's not right. Now they correct, see me, him. correct me wrong. Nothing's happened to Chris Stokes, right? Nothing. Not yet. But it's been rumors for a very long time. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna have to send you the recording though. I do have one of the recordings. And what did your recording say? <laughs> oh, it was messy. Um, it was um he was talking to him and he was like, That happened a long time ago. Um, we not we moving on from that. Jehovah has uh, forgiven me. I'm helping people now. And did he say I don't do that anymore? I don't do that anymore. That's what he used. I remember and he said, that. Jehovah is helping me. And here's the thing. And then he has another recording where he was talking to um some lady that was the go between between him and his band. And they was like, if you want to go on tour, you have to stop telling the truth. Telling your truth. That's what she used. She used the word telling your truth. And he was like, I don't understand why I got to stop telling my truth. And she was like, well, it's making everybody else feel uncomfortable. I don't know what to say because Raz B has been to hell and back. Hell and back. He's been talking about this for years. It's like nobody's doing anything. Right. If you ask me, it happened to Fizz and J-Bug. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Did you see the picture? Of them in the bed? Yes. yes. Let me tell you that's something. That's not innocent. But that's not innocent. That's what I'm saying. That's not innocent. Somebody who would take some grown boys, put them in a bed when they draws, and take joy out of having it. They said that he made a whole big bridge frame of that. That's not something that you, you know, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't know. Should I show the picture? They're in the bed. No, I shouldn't. No, no, show um, it. Yeah, no. they're in the bed in nightwear, it looks like. It's very uncomfortable. It's very cringy. I, I don't want to exploit the situation by putting the picture up. It's just the whole thing is a mess, and he's gotten away with this for years. I feel that the wife is scared. So people were tearing her up on the internet saying, why are you coming with this now? This has been, you've been married to him for so long and you ain't said, I really think she's scared. And a perfect example is why does she take down the posting? Cause she's scared. Sherelle, let me tell you something. There's people that are scared and they take it to them grave. I don't know what her purpose was for coming out and saying this, but she came out to the wrong somebody. What she should have did was took all her information, her proof to the authorities. Quit. I, I'm so tired of everybody. They want to tell their truth on their platforms and then they want to leave it there. They don't want to say nothing else. They don't want to show no proof. They just want to leave it there. They want to say their truth and then they just leave it out there. And then we sitting here talking about something. Well, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Take it to the authorities. Take it to the authorities. Nobody does that, though. But if you're so scared, then you take it to the authorities and say, look, I need your protection. Perry, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, look. Because she's right. No, no, no. I understand. I'm just saying that I know how these people work. When she try to speak on something, they shut it down. Mm -hmm. And because one, I could simply say, yeah, she put it out there to get this thing going. If she really wanted to do some justice, she would have went to a law enforcement, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's weird, like, it could have been that way, or is she getting publicity to move on down further down the road to write a book? Mm -hmm. uh, just to get paid off big interviews about it, we don't know. But I also know these cease and desist mm -hmm. and how these people come at you when you bring these things up. Mm -hmm. She and she could be truly just afraid for her life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not enough evidence for me to say why she did it. Only thing I know is she came out and spoke on it, and that shit is gone today. Uh, somebody says in the chat, Perry and Sherelle, your buddy Perry, um, has the audio of Rasby and another dude telling explicit details. I can't. I know. I heard that. It's very about Chris Stokes and Omarion or Marcus Houston. It's Marcus Houston. Call him and get the info. <laughs> well, should we play the tapes? No, if, if it's the same time, it get very graphic, Sherelle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. But Storm has it, and you guys go to Storm's channel. I'm being very careful. One, because I already got cease and desist. Mm -hmm. So I don't want any more. And that's why I won't show the pictures. That's why I won't play the tape. 
Somebody doesn't want this story out. I wonder what they're going to do now, Perry, that everybody's starting to play the tapes all over again, show the pictures all over again. This is a hot <laughs> mess. People are saying Puffy might have got with her to take the heat off of himself. Yeah, you know, I don't discount nothing these days, but yeah, that's something. Oh, someone said, I heard the tapes. They made me cry. Ugh. I'm very careful. I'm not going to play the tapes. I'm not going to show the pictures uh, because I've been threatened long enough and I just don't feel like going through all that again. People slash wife knew they enable these people. 2024 is the year of justice, freedom. It's been time. Redemption is coming for all. Prayers to all who have gone through any hurt and pain. And Absolutely. that, and that uh, voice recording, I mean, you can just feel these two guys' pain. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like an intimate thing where they're just talking about their pain. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm sure probably everybody don't heard it. I don't think you should play it. I don't, I'm not going to play it just because of what happened to me last time. But it's sad. I think somebody needs to be held accountable. Opinion, what do you think about, do you think that Chris Stokes could have been uh, um, uh, involved in the freak off ring with Jeffrey Epstein? I don't put, I don't put nothing past none of these people no more. All of them is wreaking havoc on the youth and, 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 I don't understand why we would break so many people, so many young people. And it's always them young ones. And here it is, Marcus Houston married this girl, this mm -hmm. little girl, okay, that he was dating when she was underage and claiming, no, they was friends. What do you have in common with a 17-year-old and you're behind almost 40? Wow. I think, I think Marcus Houston at one point was a victim of Chris Stokes, and then he turned into an aggressor. That's yeah. what I think. Because, Perry, you said that his parents gave Chris the real check the back check. Okay. Go ahead, Perry. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, uh, that's a story I remember hearing that I guess uh, Marcus' parents had died. No, his mother had passed. Wait a minute. Hold on. Who did? Who did? Hold on, Perry. Who Chris did? Stokes. I told you, I told you, they gonna start going after bloggers drop again. His, drop his email and everything. Oh, oh, tell oh the it story. was a long time ago. <laughs> and she needed to shut it down. I was like, no. Nah. I told y'all I got six cease and desist. Six. They're trying to quiet this story up, and now it's gonna be harder this time. They tried to, they covered up Jason Lee. They don't want this out there. And now he going around another blogger's chat. Damn. <laughs> okay, so he went in another blogger's chat. Scared of shit, probably. That's why I don't want to get too involved by the pictures and the tapes and all that, because all them bloggers are going to get cease and desist. It happened to me six damn times. It happened to Jason Lee. They're trying to shut this down. Yep. We should come together, all the bloggers, and say what they didn't did. Hey, you, when you going in the other blog chat, you're scared. Chris Stokes, you're scared. And you said something to your ex-wife, and that's why she took it down. And ain't nobody scared of you no more. Well, I'm a little bit. I don't want no more cease and desist. But it's just disgusting. <sighs> Thank you. Opinion that's a mess, girl. Wasn't he scared? Oh, he sounded like he was scared than the mother. I'm telling you, let me tell you something. These people love to do their dirt, but when they dirt get exposed, they, they be hiding from that truth coming out. I don't even know what to say now. When you go into another blogger's chat, you're trying to intimidate, you're trying to scare. Mm -hmm. What damn. What stories have we ever done? And the bloggers are in, in the and the subject is in the damn chat <laughs> commenting. Can you say what he said without being too much detail? What was the what was his attitude? What was the overall convo without going into too much detail? Well, she tried to get him to cam up and talk, but he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. He just kept some stuff in the back chat. Mm -hmm. And then finally he dropped his website. I can't. 
and told her to um, get in touch with him. That he tell her the whole thing. Uh, mm. And at first we didn't. At first we didn't believe it was the real thing because it was like we was like maybe it's a troll. Right, right. And right. so, but then when we heard the tapes, the same thing he was saying in the back check was the same thing the tapes were saying. This was a long time ago. I've been saved. Jehovah um, has touched me. Um, I, I help it. I'm helping kids now. It was like, it was the same thing that was on the tapes. And I was mm -hmm. like, ooh, you, you shady. I'm not going to play those tapes because I don't want another cease and desist. They're saying Storm and Rose playing the tapes. Go to Storm's, listen to it. I am not playing those tapes for me because I don't want to get dragged in. But I wouldn't be surprised if they all got cease and desist again. Yeah. Just like he did me. Just like he did Jason Lee. He's shady. He's dangerous. I shouldn't have said that word. He's dangerous. He's shady. He needs to be in somebody's damn prison. Okay. Period. I am pissed off <laughs> because you think you can bully people. You think people scared of you. It makes me mad. What you did to them little boys, what you did to Raz B. Mm -hmm. Law enforcement is corrupt as well. Sometimes there is no place to turn. Well, that's true. I have a judge tell me to hush, otherwise I'll be jailed. I have no criminal record. I expose the truth. Child, this is a mess. Let me tell you, this Chris Stokes thing is not over. I think he's scared. He's going to put some in place to scare bloggers again. He wants everybody to shut up. He didn't shut up the ex-wife. She took it down and privated everything. No, nah, that wasn't her own free will. Something's, he's going around bullying. Yeah, that's a strong possibility. And you don't want to be connected to the freak offering which you brought young boys to. This is a mess and it just pisses me off. I might get deep into it. I don't know. Should we, Perry? Uh I mean, we can always give updates and talk about it. Like yeah. I think getting into the graphic, you know, personal conversations like that, you know. Because they ain't gonna do nothing but try to go after them like they did us. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, somebody said opinion that they seen that yesterday. So it's a mess. Bloggers unite. I agree. Y'all, you, I agree. All you guys are good. Thanks, Michelle. Must be talking to the moderator. This is too much. I was enjoying their music back in the day and now I feel so bad for them. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, I have a feeling this is the beginning of the Chris Stokes stuff. Uh, I'm not going to put the pictures out. I'm just not going to do it. And, um, this is not over because the, 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 the length that they went through. Oh no, it's not over to hide it last time. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning. And now you're going into other credible bloggers chat. It's not over. Better believe it. <sighs> This is a lot. These people are not powerful. Well, well, I. Somebody's saying in the chat that they're not going to do anything to me. I agree, but it's a headache. It's a hassle. Why go through? Some people will take you to court just till you run out of money. Some people will take you to court and know they're wrong just to keep you tied up in court. So I've been to court way too many times. I think Jason Lee said 22 times, like, we just got, like, I need a court break. <laughs> so I'm not doing it this yeah, time. Yeah. Maybe next time, but not this go around. So anyway, uh, thank you, Opinion. Spoken Soul, did you still want to say anything? You're on mute. You're still on mute. Okay. Mm. All right, y'all. Yeah, it's not worth it. Thank you, Aphrodite. For me, it's not worth it. But it angers me what you put these boys through, mm -hmm. how you haven't been touched. You haven't had to be accountable for a damn thing. It's just bad. 
So, all right, you guys, please leave your comments in the comment section. Oh, and don't forget to like the video, y'all. Y'all come in and watch it. Y'all can give us a like. You know what I'm saying? It don't hurt y'all. It just shows the algorithm that y'all like the video and that y'all care about the bloggers that y'all watching. So, like the video. Give Sheree her love. You know. <laughs> Congratulations on your 500K. Oh. You're on your road to a million. I can't oh, wait to see you. <laughs> Why are you being so sweet? That was sweet. I got your message yesterday. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys, leave your thoughts in the comments section. We're out. Fuck this shit. We out. Go ahead, Perry. Shit, I'm out. Bye, everybody. Bye, you guys. Happy football Sunday.